Saludos raza, su compa Chueco. We right here under the First Street Bridge. Ya saben, in motherfucking Boyle Heights, East LA with Hertz Media. He about to ask me some questions, yo. <laughs> Thanks for the hi, Mario. <laughs> So how many uh, music videos have you uh, done on your hands? Fuck, in this spot right here, fuck, Mario, we've done several, G. Fucking classic. No, I could probably count them like unos diez, quince, wait. Just in this fucking, not, not in this spot right here, but around this fucking spot. This is a classic ass spot. You got downtown LA, you got the griminess, you got the fucking bridge, you got the graffiti, you got LA. This is LA, this is Boyle Heights. So yeah, a lot of people, if you know about fucking an artist, you're a rapper, you're a fucking whatever, you know about Myers, you know about El Pato Sauce. <laughs> and if you don't, aprende way. <laughs> So where did the, the California come from? How did it start? Oh, the California shit. So started way back. Fucking, I actually um, goes back to fucking college days, Mario. When fucking I started rhyming my first rhyme, I was bored as fuck. I was a lifeguard, fucking taking care of fucking kids that were there vacationing, and I started rhyming my first rhyme. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. This ain't that fucking hard. Let me put this shit to a beat. And then I fucking, I called up the homies, a couple college kids, fucking a couple college homies. We formed a little group called the Enhanced Visions. Fucking, and then from there, of course, like college kids, they went on their merry way. I went on my merry way. Of course, back to LA. Fucking, so we broke up. Didn't happen. And then when I got to LA, I talked to my homies from LA, Filthy, Mr. B, fucking Blackface, fucking El Compa Snack. I was like, hey man, I started doing this rap thing. I started with these fools. Pero ya me dejaron, güey. You know what I mean? It was a Mexicano y un güero. I'm like, ah, they pals. I'm like, hey, bro, y'all, let's do this shit. And then fucking Mr. B got in it. Filthy got in it. Actually, the motherfucker who inspired me to write Mario, if you know, want to know, is that motherfucker, Filthy. And you see, I'm about Filthy for a reason. That motherfucker was a crackhead, G. And that motherfucker's lyrics were like fucking out of this fucking world. Biggie type shit. Because he would rap about what he lived. He was a crackhead, fool. So he would rap about fucking selling his fucking daughter Similac to get fucking coke. Again, I don't have those fucking lyrics because I never lived that shit but that motherfucker did but that motherfucker inspired me to I'm like all right I'm writing lyrics but let me fucking write some stories now let me write some shit like filthy and shit so yeah you empezó away we recorded our first fucking CD all English fucking didn't do shit we were too aggressive we were too Mexican reggaeton was hitting at the fucking time nobody wanted to listen to fucking Mexican rappers so honestly G we took a break we took seven years off no hicimos ni madre way I tell people we went to go get our money straight and shit fucking Mr. B went to go uh, became an apprentice fucking iron worker I graduated from college I had my fucking job steady money coming in so I'm like all right fuck it B Let's fund this shit ourselves, bro. And then one fucking idea came to my mind, Mario. One day, I was sitting there, bro, and we had recorded this fucking album with all these fucking banda tracks. And, but we were signed to a label back then, La Pinche Movida. So we didn't own this fucking music. And years had gone by, bro. Years had gone by, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck these fools. What are they going to do to me, Mario? What the fuck are they going to do to me? Sue me and shit? So I said, fuck it. I'm going to put out those banda tracks that we did a long time ago because I knew that they were banging. I said, I'm going to put them out. I'm going to do a little CD called Six Heaters. So I picked six of the best ones that I thought were the best banda tracks that we had. And I just fucking put them out there. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. If they sue me, they sue me. But in the worst case scenario, I told myself and I called B. I said, look, bro, I'm going to put them up there, B. And I told them, si nos dan un pinche dólar, güey. If they give us a fucking dollar, that's more than what I'm getting right now B I just have them here sitting in my laptop G I'm gonna put them out there if a motherfucker pays us fuck it ya si comenzó way I put them shits out there six heaters motherfuckers were like well, number one who the fuck is that and then number two hey I kinda like this shit y'all got more and then eventually fool I told Mr. B hey B we can't go out like Willie Lump Lump G we can't go out with music that we did fucking years ago and pretend that it's new and be like oh that's who the fuck we are so I said look fool let's do one fucking album P I said let's do one one fucking album, our way, Spanish, English, le metemos la banda, le metemos la tuba, las cumbias, we just do it our fucking way, G, one fucking album, and like that, we won't go out like Willie Lump, like, we'll be like, alright, fuck it, at least we drop one fucking new album, y ahí les va, wey. After one album, Mario, it's ya van como ocho, wey. Ya van como 20 fucking EPs. Ya van como fucking un chingo de singles. Like, but again, it was that one fucking idea that, again, just to drop six fucking heaters out there and then to ultimately do one fucking album. And from that fucking one album, we've just been going at it for now another fucking six, seven years, G. Ya saben, raza, la historia de los muertos. Como comenzó el todo desmadre. I'll tell y'all right now, como comenzó todo este desmadre right here, Mario. That's another fucking story in and of itself, G. Cool. Um, I just kind of want to um, go back a little bit to your college days. Um, yeah, 
tell us what you major in and like what brought uh, you to that choice? So I majored in uh, sociology and Chicano studies. Believe it or not, I actually could have tripled major, but fucking pitcher didn't have triple major, so I could only do a double major. But Simon, sociology, Chicano studies, I got my BA in fucking uh, bachelor's of arts. I graduated, got my first job and shit, and again, that's why I tell everybody, right? So if you're a new artist, you're starting, good. All that shit that you're fucking wanting to get a label to sign you and all that shit. But when you're ready to invest in yourself and you're ready to say, all right, fuck it, I'm going to do it. That's the best way. Independent, do it yourself. If you believe in yourself, orale. But it's going to cost you fucking the money. So that's where uh, we were at the point. Once me and B were at that point that we had the money, we, were, we didn't give a fuck. We were paying for our own videos, our own studio time, our own everything. Yeah, see. That's how we are right now, G. But yeah, that's how it started, Mario, with fucking college days, dog. Believe that shit. Yeah, and it reflects on, on your lyrics and your music. Yeah, um, yeah, so I incorporate, yeah. I incorporate from? all that, right? Like, it did. Yeah, fool, if you listen to my lyrics, sometimes, right? I'm like Biggie, dog. Sometimes I drop a fucking, a six a fucking syllable fucking word, right? <laughs> and that all comes from that, man. Pero también I understand people don't want to hear that shit. You know what I mean? Like, th there's a certain fucking level that I could talk to certain people, right? Like if I'm in the hood, I know I gotta dummy that shit down, right? Like I know I can't be fucking talking like I talk to my fucking college buddies and shit, you know what I mean? Like there's levels to this shit. And yeah, but when, so in my writing, there's levels to this shit, right? I write fucking to a certain level that I know people are gonna fucking listen to my shit, relate to it and be like, oh shit, yeah, that's some, that's some G shit. I lived that shit or I've been through that shit. So yeah, for I fucking level it down to, to, yeah, to the ghetto fucking. Cause yeah, if I can't be writing fucking about college shit using all fucking big words, because people me mandan a la verga, güey. <laughs> la neta. With over like 50 music videos they have up, uh, how did you get that going? How did you start uh, making music puro. videos? And, and like, uh, what was your first collaborations like? Like I said, Mario, it was just fucking number one, all fucking just huevos, güey. Pero we had a strategy, dog. Started fucking early on, and any artist could do this shit, really. But we just fucking told ourselves, wherever the fuck we go, we're gonna record a video. Wherever the fuck we go. You invite us to go to your fucking city, we're gonna record a video in that fucking city. And that's how we started, bro. So you mentioned 50 videos, I think it's like 70 something, right? Pero all that shit started, Mario, from, from that, from us saying, all right, we would go to Mexico. All right, we would record fucking two, three videos out there. We went to, fuimos a Monterrey. Grabamos tres pinches videos in Monterrey. Fuimos a Colombia, wey. Fucking, again, even deeper south. We recorded three fucking videos. Everywhere we go, for everywhere we go, we record videos. So I, anticipation of that shit, if I know I'm going to fucking, I know I'm going to Veracruz, por decir, en noviembre, wey. I'm already hitting up a fucking artist de Veracruz, de Oaxaca. Hey, let's fucking do some shit, right? I'm gonna be out there in November. Let's fucking do the video, blah. And I only fuck with motherfuckers that I see that are out there working. You know what I mean? Like, if I see you working, I don't give a fuck about your fame. If I see you working, I'll fuck with you. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about your fame. You could have fucking a million motherfuckers and be the laziest motherfucker. I don't need you. I want the motherfucker that's hungry, that's willing to say, hell yeah, I'll do a video, I'll fund it, yo lo pago. You just get your ass here and we do it. Those are the motherfuckers that I look for. So that's what I'm looking for, dog. I look for shit. Yes, se ha pasado. I've been blessed fucking to find the fucking people. And even though motherfuckers are like, why the fuck you collab with that fool? Or why the fuck you did a song with this fool? Again, for in the end, Mario, it paid off. I got a video. <laughs> I got a video off that shit. So I don't give a fuck. I went to a city that wasn't mine. Fucking grabamos un pinche video con raza. They paid for it. And it's on my YouTube channel, homie. That's a win, win, win. <laughs> if you ask me, G. So yeah, see, yeah, see, all hacemos, we just record videos wherever the fuck we go, Mario. So that's how we got to fucking the number that we got in such a quick span. Fucking, cause yeah, fool, I recognize fool that we've been some years fool, you know, cause YouTube gives you a notice every fucking year. Oh shit, you dropped fucking 18 videos this year. Puta madre, right? Like even one year I'm like, oh shit, like that's fucking more than one video a month. You know what I mean? Like not any motherfuckers dropping one video a month, not even a major label. You know what I mean? Artists is dropping one video a month. So that's how you fucking do it, Mario. You out hustle them, you out match them, you out work them. You just fucking drop 18 videos while they're dropping six G. Así se hace, güey. Easy. <laughs> no mystery to this shit, Mario. No mystery to this shit. You just gotta outwork them, G. <laughs> Which one would you say are your top three songs and which one was the one that like really hit and you thought like, man, dog, the one that, with this. the one that, no, well, the one that surprised me is the one that fucking everybody knows is like the coca and marijuana and not because fucking of the controversy or whatever, just because I produced that beat, Mario. 
Like, fucking, we got into the studio, if you know the story of that song, fucking my compa calls me up todo bien pedo, him and my bro, they're fucking just drinking in the garage. They're like, bro, we got this hook. I'm like, bro, sing it to me. And he sings it to me. Coca y marihuana. Coca. I'm like, bro, you know that's la pinche virgencita, wey. I know what you're doing, fool. I know what you're doing. You know that's that fucking song. He was like, yes, I know. That's why it's going to work. I'm like, you know what's next? You might be right, G, fuck it. Let's get into the studio, let's drop that shit. So he goes into the studio without a beat, Mario, without anything, fool. Just goes into the studio and raw, drops it. Desde el cielo cayeron ca and just drops it, dog. So then fucking I go behind it and I fucking then lace the beat. Boom, ba -ba, boom, boom, boom. And then I throw the fucking trompeta, the charcheta. And then, so in my mind, fool, like that one surprises me the most because I produced that shit. So to me, I'm like, that was just simple. It took me 10 minutes, fool, to produce. It was quick. It was just like, let me feel what I fucking heard. And there you go, bro. And that's our track that's fucking bumping. Yet, I felt with fucking, have fucked with other producers where I've paid them. A thousand dollars, two thousand dollars for a beat. Say, won't get dope ass beat. Yeah, yeah, and that's like fucking beat me back. Wait, so uh, to me, that, that again, that was the most surprise. But then, Fue en un Café, that's the other one, right? That's the, well, out of the three, Fue en un Café, Coca y Marihuana, and then uh, Viva Mexico Cabrones, right? Those are the, our three top bangers, and mostly, if you know the California, you know. Pero Fue en un Café, again, another surprise to me because of the puppets, G. Like, again, me just having the idea, oh, let me have this story be played out by puppets, right? It's a love story, so why not use Triste and fucking Smiley? Unbeknownst to me, bro. Mario, that, that, that fool, that fucking video was gonna get little three-year-olds, two-year-olds, one-year-olds following us, fool. Like, they bring them to our fucking shows, bro. Pinches burritos, babies. And they're all in love with that fucking song. Not because of me. Because of the puppets. <laughs> because of the puppets. So, again, fool, another fucking surprise that fucking just, again, shocked fucking all of us. Like, puta madre. Like, the, 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 the fucking, yeah. Just the curiosity with the puppets and that fucking track blew the fucking, yeah. One of the fucking shockers for me, G. One of my uh, favorite songs, believe it or not, is El Correo del Chueco. <laughs> yeah. You I like that, huh? The, the kind of the G Funk smooth beat. Yeah, yeah. And, hey, well, that's and a... kind of like, I like the storytelling. So, can you tell us, like, from when you were, you know, you, you grew up with a single um, yeah, yeah, yeah. parent? And you started driving it really early. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, bro, that's fucking, that's how it started, Brian. In a way, fool, if you think about it, that's what fucking, in my mind, fool, that's what really led to all this crazy shit that I'm doing now. Because really, that's how it happened, Mario. Like, one day, out of the blue, my mom just woke up and fucking said, Orale, tu vas a manejar. And just threw me the fucking keys. I had not driven a fucking car. I never drove, never did nothing. She just said, tu vas a manejar. She was all like, tu vas a llevar a tus hermanos a la escuela. They're gonna take me to work. You know, take your brothers to work, keep the car, and then we're gonna do this shit. Cause I can no longer, so basically bro, she could no longer afford, we would go on the bus. She would pay for every motherfucker, all five of us, right? The bus fare, and then for herself to take us to my dad's house, drop us off like four in the fucking morning, leave us there so then we could go to school, walk it. But then she was like, I can't afford the fucking bus no more. So she bought a car and that was the solution. But then she was like, all right, but now I need fucking, I can't be taking y'all to school. And I'm like, no, so all right, I bought the car, but now I need a driver. So here you go, bro. So yeah, that story about when I say that at 12, she asked me, that's how it started, bro. So I started driving at 12, but then that led to imagine Mario me driving at 12 fool I drove to junior high I drove to high school so by the time I got to ninth grade fool I had all the thug motherfuckers with me every motherfucker that was cool that was hard that was a G I was doing the fucking driving so they all wanted to hang out with me Mario so fucking I had again I didn't have to fucking be cool I had all the motherfuckers that were the most gangsters from Fremont riding in my car and they would see a pinch head crooked when they were coming back then driving so again fool, i never got into jumped into florence but i would roll with it like all oh, the fools i was like no like oh that's trek over i never got fucking jumped in though because of that just the reputation from day one that i got from fucking just again the clout that i had for from having a car then that led to again me driving and that's where i fucking again for that me driving fucking really led to a bunch of fucking shit because then that led to the hustle right that i fucking eventually again dog i'm not going to talk about it, but I didn't sell drugs, right? I didn't do that shit. I did some other shit that fucking eventually led me to fucking not have to work, have enough money to give to my mom's fucking deal with that, and then end up in college, right? But it was that shit that fucking ended up fucking, you know what I mean? Being the pay, the pay for that. So years ago, bro, years ago, we were in the fucking, 
in Maywood studio, dog. It's cuando we were fucking, even before we were recording in English, we were fucking recording this fucking album ahí for some like ghetto ass fucking label. Se llamaba, ¿cómo se llamaba? ¿Cómo se llamaba esa pinche? Uh, uh, anyway, bro, they're fucking in Maywood. They, they, we, they were fucking known for fucking being mafiosos and all that shit. So anyway, one night, fucking where they're recording, llega this group of motherfucking cantantes and all kind of fuckers. They're, they're right there, they're just drinking, they're pisteando, y le están dando carrilla a un cabrón, because we're trying to record that Juan Gabriel hook. We're trying to fucking do it ourselves and shit and try to sing it, and then they're giving carrilla to this one cat. Hey, bro, go in there, go in there, record it, record that fucking hook for them. We didn't know who the fuck he was. He, they were just les dando un carrilla este cabrón. Finally, dog, he goes in there, he drops that fucking hook. Me and B are like, hey, it sounds better than fucking us. So we were like, fuck it, let's leave it like that fool. Yeah, si se quedó esa pinche rola, wey. Years later, dog, year, and we didn't know, again, Mario, we didn't know who the fuck he was. He was, to us, he was just a singer that was just with them cats, and he went into the fucking studio that night and recorded that track. Five, six years later, dog, is when we hear that they fucking shot some cat up. We end up fucking looking into it. That's the same motherfucker, dog, that's on our track, Valentin and Lizalde, way. We were like, puta madre. That's the motherfucker that's on our track. We were like, hip. And again, think about it, Mario. We could have been dicks. Right then at that there when he died, we could have been like, oh, let's drop this fucking track right now. Let's expose it to the world right now that he died to get clout out of that shit. We didn't. But we were like, nah, nah, nah. Out of respect for that motherfucker, we'll leave it there and we'll drop it in due time. Fucking years later, when the idea came of dropping an album, that was one of the first fucking tracks that we threw fucking in there. We were like, all right, fuck it. If we're going to do an album, let's throw Hablame de Ti. We remix it. We called it Cuéntame. Same fucking hook. And then that fucking led to the evolution of the video, Mario, which the Mario, the, the video was simple. Before it was just the idea of fucking we were like all right this motherfucker made us a solid went into the studio recorded this fucking track for us again didn't charge us motherfucker was known back then we didn't know him but he was Valentin Lelizalde way he was a known motherfucker so fucking he went into the fucking studio recorded this track laced it down for us we were like bro at least what we can do to honor his ass and to honor him for what he did to us let's go from living to dead I told Mr. B let's paint our faces and go from living to fucking dead in the video so then that way food we're honoring fucking Valentin who's now fucking dead he was like bro I love fucking the idea so bro I had her, I never knew a fucking makeup artist. I didn't fucking, I had to search for one. That's where I found D. I fucking hit her up. Fucking she came, she fucking hooked us up. And it was one of those videos where again, we were going from living to dead. So she had to, she couldn't just paint our faces. She had to stay with us, right? Paint half of our face, then full of our face. So anyway, at the end of that fucking video, really, it's all because of that shit, right? One day we were in fucking Monterrey. Fucking, we were just performing that night. We show up and we show up without our faces, Mario. We're just like, all right, here, we'll do the fucking show. Somos de California. We see a group of motherfuckers, like a gang, like fucking 10 motherfuckers all staring at us, mad dogging this fool. Again, me and B, we're in a different country. We're in a different, we're like, all right, it's gonna go down, fool. Blows are fucking going down. These motherfuckers wanna, obviously, fool, they see something they don't like, they're trying to fuck us up or something. They fucking get up there. All of a sudden, one motherfucker walks up to us. Break motherfucker, one. He's like, hey, wait, ¿quiénes son ustedes, güey? ¿Dónde están los pinches muertos? Me and B just looked at each other. We were like, what the fuck? Like, oh, hell yeah. They don't want to see us, B. They want to see los pinches muertos, güey. So from that day, that, from that day, we were like, fuck it. They want to see los muertos. This is what they want, not something that we created. Fuck it. Let's give it to them, B. So here you go, G. Since then, full seven years later. <laughs> We've been giving it to them, Mario. Yeah, sí, pero así comenzó, güey. So it wasn't an idea. I wish, fool. I wish I was that smart. I would have came up this shit 20 years ago when we started fucking rapping. You know what I mean? 25 years ago in college. Nah, bro. This wasn't an idea that we came up with. This shit was bestowed on us by our fucking fans. They straight up said, well, this is what the fuck we want to see. And that's what the fuck we're giving them, G. So that's why we paint our faces, though. When you look at your like, YouTube analytics, where do you um, see most of your fan base located? Bro, mostly in, uh, in Latino America, way. Mostly Mexico. But yeah, it's growing for Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, like all the fucking numbers, bro. I'm seeing it fucking pop up over there, even more Chile way. Um, they're always asking us to fucking go to Chile to perform, fucking Argentina, all that shit for like, that's where fucking we're going next. Fool. Right now we're going to Mexico, we're hitting fucking Mexico and that's all good. But eventually dog, that's our plan, Mario, to fucking hit Latin America, to hit fucking South America, eventually then fucking hit on over to Europe. A la verga way, we're, yeah, yeah, at this point, fool, yeah, yeah, like it's next level shit. Yeah, they're calling from everywhere, G, not just from fucking Mexico, where 
here, YouTube, right? So right now, that's where it started. That's where we got our foundation. And we can always go to fucking Mexico and rock out. Always go to LA or around here and rock out. But fuck that. We're trying to get to fucking Argentina and Chile and shit. That's where we going, G. So yeah, that's where the fucking YouTube analytics is fucking sort of telling me the story that we're fucking, yeah, those bubbles are seem to be getting bigger fucking out there, G. Something that blew me away too was that collab with the Japanese camp. Oh yeah, hello, <laughs> they wait, dog. No, that's another man. I got stories for days. Oh, that's another story. That fool knew English, Mario. He knew no English. That fool shows up right here, no English, and I don't know fucking Japanese. I don't know squat of fucking Japanese, dog. So fucking here we are talking to each other, fool. Not one of each other knowing that he's fucking each other aren't understanding shit. I thought finally, fool, he tells me, hey, bro, I don't understand shit you're saying, and I understand that shit. But yeah, for that video was, again, another fucking just, I met when I went to Mexico, because I, again, for just us being us, fool, we went to fucking Mexico one time, we performed at a prison, G, at a prison, Mario, where like, again, the prisoners were there, chilling with their families, in Mexico, they do it a lot different, it ain't like they do it here, where you're fucking a gate, and nah, 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 over there, you can bring food, the families, yeah, and they're feeding with their, they're eating with their loved ones, with their sons, their daughters, whatever, anyway, we were there performing in front of all of them, dog, in a fucking prison, well, from that prison, there was this cat from Brazil right there, that cat from Brazil knew fucking Oide, so he hooked us up. He was like, bro, I know this cat from Japan. He comes out here, he fucking does some shit. Fucking, you catch your fucking collab. Ya se los conecto, güey. Pero again, it was like, by us doing like little shit that other people wouldn't do, other artists wouldn't do. Again, that connection came from that fucking little one show that again, if they would have told you, Mario, hey, bro, let's go to Mexico. You're not gonna get paid, G, and you're gonna perform in a prison. Would you go? Right? Not most motherfuckers would go. Me and B were all like, fuck it. Let's go, G. Nobody knows us. Let's go, fool. Yeah, pero again, from that little fucking movie, we met that fool from Colombia, then they hooked us up with the fool from Brazil, hooked us up with the fool from Japan, and there you go to your question about that video on how it happened, but there you go, fool. Because again, I didn't know that fool. I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know fucking all you there. Fuck, I just know the track. I don't know nothing about him, fool, where he's from, where he lives, nothing. It's just fucking one of those collabs that just came together through the internet. G. But yeah, man, but yeah, there, and then a bunch of tracks like that will come together, at least from us, have come together through the internet. All the ones that I fucking Puebla, the tracks that I have con los güeyes de Monterrey, fucking all of them, dog, they've all just been like motherfuckers just hit me up. And again, like I told you last time, Mario, to me, fuck your fame. I don't look at your numbers. If you hit me up, hey, let's collab. I don't go and see like, all right, how many followers they got. That to me don't matter. To me, what fucking matters is if I see you working, right? If I go to your page and I see, oh, you dropped the video. Oh, you dropped the video two weeks ago. Oh, you dropped, oh shit. This motherfucker working, he's dropping videos? Hell yeah, let's collab. I don't give a fuck who you are. Let's collab, let's work, because you working. That's what I look for, fool. So in a way, right, that also, to your question about analytics, right, that helps, right? Because I'm working with people that are active, right? So even if I put up a video, they're gonna share it, they're active, they're gonna share it, versus a motherfucker that, oh, okay, may have a million followers, he's lazy as fuck. We did a song, ya se queda aquí, in the fucking couch, he doesn't even bother to fucking promote it, because he already has a million followers, right? In his mind, he's already done it. Nah, so I, I, yeah, I fuck with hungry cats, Mario, and the way that helps me too, because their hunger pushes fucking their fans to me. Yeah, see, yeah, see, Stamos way, a little triangle, you know what I mean? So, and it works, see? What would be some of the artists that you would like to work with? Dog, honestly, I like to fuck with some of the Mexican rappers just to fucking distinguish ourselves because a lot of motherfuckers compare us. I like to fucking do a track just so I can shame them motherfuckers, you know what I mean? A lot of motherfuckers compare us to Aquit, so just like, la verga, let's because that what motivates me. But then I like to fucking do a track with Cypress Hill, fucking a lot of Latino rappers like that, Pitbull, motherfuckers that are out there. Again, not to fucking sort of fucking collab with them because I like their style or music or whatever. It's just Mexicanos way. We just haven't got our fair fucking sharing music, right? And for some reason, dog, like Cubanos, Puerto Ricans, like they have, you know what I mean? Like they have their little fucking one or two rappers that they can call on their fingers to be like, oh yeah, that represents us. You know what I mean? We don't, G. So until we do, fucking, hey bro, I'm trying to find it. So in my mind, the easiest way to break through is to fuck with major name brand fucking artists. You know what I mean? Like, so why fucking go with the little fish? Let's go with the big fish. If you're asking me about collabos, Cypress Hill, let's collab motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Like, let's do this shit. I put, yes, that's the other thing, dog. Like, me and B, we never fucking, again, because we don't think we're the baddest. We know we're not, fool. But we just know we're confident, dog. So I don't give a fuck who you put next to me. I'm gonna write some shit that's gonna fucking even make him think tick twice. You know what I mean? That's how we confident how we are. So to us, fool, like, it don't matter, fool. Put us next to anybody. 
and we're gonna fucking compete at that level. Not again try to fucking be like, oh, we're fucking, we, we killed this for like we fucking better rappers. No, 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 it doesn't matter about that. But when you compete, again, it brings both fucking levels, in my opinion, right to that fucking level. So that's what we like to do, Joe. So yeah, if I'm gonna fucking fuck with some cats, let's fuck with some big cats. Mario, fuck it, why not? <laughs> I would like to see some stuff with uh, maybe like Snow the Product. Oh Snow man, Snow. you know what? Snow the Product, uh, honestly, Vula, then I'm gonna say it, G, I think she's the, Baddest out of anyone in LA, including the man. Fuck, kill little G, drummer, say los chinga, wey, snow the product. Not la neta, wey, king, snow the product as far as lyrics when you listen to her shit. Cause I do, that's what I do first as an artist, I listen to this shit. Bro, she, she's next level, bro. I, yeah, so yeah, you know the product. You want to fuck with some of those muertos? Let's do this shit. I'll be down, though, and I'm always down to fuck with some, you know what I mean? Some females, as you know, Mario. I like to put that female voice on the hooks. I like to put that female perspective on all the fucking tracks that we do. So hell yeah, Snow the product? Yeah, that's, yeah. She's one of the fucking sickest, I think, in L.A. Yeah, after Male that. included, male included. A la verga. Straight up. Get offended, homies. De la neta. We'd love to hear a track with you in Quinto Sol and Kid Frost. Oh, that'd be, that'd be another one, bro. That'd be another Again, Quinto Sol, I'd be fucking, Kid Frost started this shit. Honestly, bro, I give him the credit. The first Chicano rapper. That's the motherfucker, dog. You can't fucking lie from him. Ya nació todo ese pedo de Mexico y todo ese pedo. So I gotta give it to him. And then Quinto Sol, again, another pioneer motherfuckers out there in Mexico. You know what I mean? So yeah, again, that's the thing, Mario. You ask me, like, I'm gonna say yes to anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's how I fucking, to me, is what I talked about, fool. It's gonna raise my competition level, fool. It's gonna make me fucking do and write some shit that, all right, motherfucker, no, this motherfucker hasn't made me. So, orderly. So, to me, hell yeah, bro. I'll fuck with anybody. Because, again, I don't fear nobody, G. I know fucking motherfuckers are gonna be like, ah, fuck. Quinto Sol killed that shit, but Chueco valió verga. I don't ever happen, G. I don't never happen, shit. If anything, it's gonna be the opposite. Nah, nah, but see, in that regard, fool, I'm confident, G. So, fuck it. I'll fuck with anybody, Mario. Can you tell us about your makeup today? Oh, bro, so this is fucking, I did, but I ended up shooting a video, El Corrido del Chicano, Mario, and I fucking ended up wearing the shirt that me and B did. I only did one of one, for I only did that one shirt one time for a video. I was like, fuck it. And I fucking, I put my, um, we painted our faces, basically the U.S., and the Mexico. But if you listen to, if you look at those two videos, which are Despierten and Out to Rap, Mr. B on Out to Rap, he's all Mexican out, and me, I'm all fucking USA. So anyway, I put those two fucking faces on a shirt. Because of that fucking video, everybody fucking always asked me for that fucking shirt. So I was like, fuck it. If they like that shirt, they like the message that fucking Mexican American brings, here you go, so here we go. Me and Mario are fucking doing fucking photo shoot today, fucking under the bridge, fucking Boyle Heights. And ahí les viene otra pinche camisa, another fucking little design that we're gonna bust out fucking from our thecaliforniagear.com shop. So look for that in a couple months. But right now, photo shoot. Hey, we appreciate your time today. Coming out of hey, thank you, Mario. Hey, Tell thank you for doing this shit, man. A little bit about what you got coming up. Ah, uh, let's see, dog. So we got fucking here, the States, we got El Velorio coming up. So if you're from LA, motherfuckers always asking us, hey, what about LA? All right, motherfuckers, come out. El Velorio, we're gonna be headlining that show October 22nd, just confirmed this shit. Um, we're gonna be leading La Procesión de las Catrinas in El Pinche DF. So last time, Un Millón de Catrinas and Calaca showed up. They're expecting Un Millón and a Half this year. Y El Pinche Chueco y Los Muertos are gonna be leading all of them in El Pinche DF, Octubre 22. So ahí estamos, raza. And then lastly, I can't forget, Pinche Concierto de Muertos en Pinche Veracruz. That's, ya saben, no bien, yeah, November 4th. Fucking, I'm gonna be out there. My fucking bro passed this fucking year. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna sing not only for him, but for all the fucking muertos out there in fucking Veracruz. So if you have a loved one, you have a dead one, bring his picture that fucking day, because I'm gonna be out there singing to all the pinches muertos in Belatinaja, Veracruz, Noviembre 4. So those are all fucking shows. As far as music, Mario, we got a fucking track coming out. I'll collab with some track called Camila, some girl named Camila from fucking Oregon. Se llama Sin Tu Amor. You're gonna like that fucking track, it's una banda. And then I did a fucking remix i'm actually going to the studio tonight to drop the fucking lyrics for go remix so i remix that fucking track that's a track that i have with mr b but it's one of our tracks that gets a lot of play on spotify so i decided to remix it so i could have it to perform so yeah i'm gonna head on to the studio later on i mean i'm gonna remix that shit a fucking go so I expect that shit coming out fucking like in a month Oh, Telling y'all, match my hustle, homies. Match my hustle. That's what's up. Ya saben, raza de California.